to another video. I'm sorry that this video is pretty late this month. This is going to be my, what is it, my November 2013 book haul. And I have a lot of books to show you. And like I said, I'm sorry it's a bit late, but I've been ill this month and things have just been crazy. We recently got kittens that had two new kittens and they're very, very uh, distracting creatures. <laughs> So yes, and also the light's been fading so fast recently, and it's dark sometimes by 4 o'clock, and yeah, that cuts the video in time quite down, down quite a bit. But I'm going to do this very quickly, because I only have a short amount of time on my camera. So, let's get started. A few weeks ago, I got sent an envelope with uh, pictures of the new releases from Chicken House Publishing, and I shall just show you a couple. They're releases for 2014. Um, the Extraordinary uh, Education of Nicholas Benedict, and then there's um, Feed, and this, this one's quite cool, Lobsters, um, The Glass Bird Girl, Valentine Joe, uh, Secret, Brave, which has a really cool cover, Killing Butterfly, I don't know if you can see that, um, Fire and Flood, Taken, um, Where the Rocks Split the Sky, um, Dream on Amber, and Flashes. And these are all being released sometime in 2014. So if any of you are interested in any of the release dates, just let me know and I can tell you because they have all the information about them on the back which I think is really, really cool. Uh, moving on to review books, I got four review books this month, and the first one is After Eden by Helen Douglas. I got sent a, an, a proof copy of this months ago, and I've recently read it and reviewed it last month, I think it was, and I really enjoyed it, and they sent me a finished copy, which is really cool. I really like this cover. I don't know if I like it more than the US one. I think I prefer the US one a bit, but it's still cool and it matches the sequel which will be coming out sometime next year. And it was a really good book, so yeah. From Macmillan I got sent um, Briar Rose by Jana Oliver. Jana Oliver is the author of the Demon Trapper series, which I have not read but I own the first one, and it's quite exciting. And this is a fairy, re fair, fairy tale retelling of Sleeping Beauty and it looks really cool and the cover is awesome too. I got sent an arc of After Party by Anne Odie Stampler. I've been in contact with Anne over the last couple of months, just ch chatting to her, and I partake, partook in a chapter reveal event on my blog a few weeks ago, which was really cool. And she sent me an arc of her new book to be released, when is it, January 2014. And it's really, it looks really good, and also there is a bookmark, and Basically, it says good girls don't usually kill their best friends. And I think it looks really good, and I really can't wait to start this. So thank you, Anne. O also, from an author, I got Obscura Burning by Suzanne Van Ruyen. Ruyen? Ruyen? I can't pronounce that name at all. I don't know why. Um, it's got a gorgeous cover, and I've been eyeing this book for ages, and recently, um, um, Suzanne managed to get her work published in printed copies and she was sending out copies to people and she offered to send me a copy free of charge for me to review and it was really sweet of her and I'm really excited to start it. It's about parallel worlds where so he is flitting between these two worlds and he can't decide where to stay but it says the world's going to end in fire and then it's all Kyle's fault and I think it looks really good and I can't wait to start it. Suzanne also very kindly personalised it for me, which is so sweet of her, and it says, To Tiffany, to Tiffany as dust or breath, Suzanne or Van Roon. So that's really, really exciting. So thank you so much, Suzanne. Moving on to the books that I brought this month, I brought quite a few, just because, yeah. Well, the first one is Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford. Um, this has been really popular recently, and I just wanted to pick it up. I found it in a charity shop that I volunteer at and I thought it looked good and I've heard some great things about it. It's just about a world, depending on how high a class you are, um, is depended on the colours you see or something like that. So the more colour you see, the higher up in the hi hierarchy or whatever it is you're called. So it looks good. I also got 
Indo by Helen Dunmore. This is about mermaids or sirens and I've not heard a whole lot about it but I've heard that it is good from the reviews I've read and it's part of a series and I thought well I should try it. I've been picking up quite a few mermaid related books recently just to see if I like the whole genre type of it and yeah I think it looks good. I also picked up Someone Else's Life by Katie Dale. This is about a girl whose mum dies of Huntington's disease, I think it is, and the girl Rosie is worried that she's also inherited the disease and then she finds out that the, her mum wasn't actually her birth mother at all and her whole life falls apart and I think it looks really really good and has quite a cool cover and it's a big book so I'm excited to have this one too. Um, Shadows by Paula Weston. This is a really cool cover. I think this is supposed to be very similar in a way to Angel Fall. I've not read Angel Fall by Suzanne E but I do own it and I love angels the whole genre of it, it's really cool and it just says love make my nightmares angels war and I think recently the second book was released but I'm not entirely sure but it has a really cool cover and I'm very excited to have this one. Then I also found in a charity shop Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. Um, this is the movie cover and to be honest I don't like it much at all. I mean the, the zombie is quite cute but uh, that's about it. I wanted to pick up the non-movie cover, but I couldn't really find it anywhere, and, there was, and I found this in a charity shop for £2, and I thought, well, I want to read the story, and if I do like it, maybe I'll rebuy it with the non-movie cover, but yes. But a zombie who falls in love with a human, which is really cool, so I can't wait to read this, and then I can finally watch the film. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. This is a, obviously... <laughs> um, by Jane Austen but also by Seth Graham Smith um, he has done a lot of works like Pride and um, Sense and Sensibility in Sea Monsters which is um, kind of retold exactly the same but with um, zombies and sea monsters and such and I was recommended to pick this up by one of my followers on my blog because I'm not a very big fan of classics but I do want to read them and they said why don't you try and pick up the um, quite classic version of the zombies, it makes it much easier to read. So I found it in a charity shop for £2 and I just couldn't resist. Um, Strange Angels by Lily St. Crow, I think that's how you say it. This is about a girl whose dad has become a zombie, her mum is long gone, and she hunts the things that go bump in the night. She, her father used to do it, um, but, do it, but then he got turned into a zombie obviously and she's following in his footsteps. I've heard some great things about this series and it's an American paperback which makes it really really awesome. So yes, I'm very excited to have this one as well because it looks awesome and very different from stuff I've usually read. Um, the next one I have is Once by Anna Carey. This is the second book in the Eve trilogy I want to say. Um, I really enjoyed Eve. I think I got it for Christmas last year. It was really really fantastic and I had to pick up the sequel and I got it. And I had to make sure I got the US paperback because so it matched my other one. Um, but when I got it, I found that it is actually about this much taller than Eve, which is really odd. Really, really odd. So yeah, <laughs> very strange. But I'm really excited about this. And if you don't know about the series, you should look it up on Goodreads and buy yourself a copy because it's very good. Um, the last few books I got are hardback books. And the first one is Mothership by Martin Light. I could, I could, can't pronounce that, and Elsa Neil, and this is supposed to be a bit of a comedy, um, funny book, and it's part of a series, and it's got a really cool cover, all I know about it is about when, um, teens get pregnant, or if it's by accident or whatever, they get sent to this ship where they learn to be a mum, and things like that and then one day the father of one of the girl's babies comes and hijacks the ship and stuff like that and it's supposed to be really really funny and yeah it looks really good so I got this cheap as well so I can't wait to try that. 52 Reasons to Hate My Father by Jessica Brody. Jessica Brody is the author of the Unremembered series or trilogy and I haven't tried anything by her yet. I wanted to try the Unremembered book um, but I have yet to pick it up because I hate the UK cover but I saw this going cheap as well and I thought it looked really really good 
I've heard some great things about it, about a girl who's um, got to earn her dad's trust fund by completing 52 jobs over the course of the next year because she's just being disrespected for her father and things like that. So yeah, it looks really good and I'm glad I got the hardback because the paper back for the UK is really ugly and I don't like it. I'm very excited about that. Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. I think that's how you pronounce the first name. I'm not sure. Um, I've heard some great things about this book as well. Um, all I know is about four or three girls taking revenge on a bunch of people that have made their life miserable. So I'm really excited to have this. The sequel has been recently released. The Oathbreaker's Shadow by Amy McCulloch. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But it's, this one is about... In this world, promises are bound in ties on your wrist, I think, and if you break a promise, it severs the cord and you are shunned from your society, basically. And, yeah, it's about this boy who um, accidentally breaks a promise he didn't know he made. So, it looks really good, and I got it for, like, £3, so it's very, very, very exciting. Life After Fest by April Lynn Pike. Um, I don't know much about this, apart from a girl who shot this a lot and then she dies and something about that. I really like this cover, it's really cool. So yeah. And finally, the prettiest one of them all is Teardrop by Lauren Kate. I have not read anything by Lauren Kate. I have not read anything by Lauren Kate, although I do own the first two books of her Fallen series. I have not read them though, I've had them for ages. But I just couldn't resist picking this up because look at this cover, isn't it so gorgeous? And I had a gift card for a book token thing and I just had to get it because it's so pretty. Look. It's just so gorgeous. Everything about it is absolutely stunning. And I don't know what I know what it's about kind of, but I can't really put it into words. But it looks amazing. So I can't wait to start that as well. So those are the books that I got for November. I'm really sorry again that this is video is so late, but I do have more books to show you for my December 2013 book haul, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great week, and I'll have another video up for you soon. Happy reading. Bye.